what's going on everybody how are you guys doing hey hope you're doing okay and look what's going on here boy sparkle and things and it's our life ard along with how can life get better than this we're doing a coffee right now all right so we got some nice chicken seasoning there well the seasoning on top we got some nice prawns I brought from Guyana. <laughs> of course, got some Peroni beer. Peroni or Peroni? Or Peroni? Hey, it's a beer, all right? I get that from my biology field. So, Miss Lynch is going to help me clean up this um, the shrimp. We're going to fry the shrimp and we're going to fry the chicken. So, we're making a late night snack right now. You know, fasting just over. All right? <laughs> So I'm gonna give Miss Lynch the phone so she can oh, she can record me. Okay, right. Let me get this So Miss Lynch, start mingling with the fish and the shrimp. So your hands get dirty. All right. It's about a month now since my mom passed. Peace be upon her soul. And you know, as a Hindu, when somebody dies for you, and if you're performing the last rites. It's mandatory that you keep fasting, like um, no meat, no alcohol. So we've been on a one month, no meat, no alcohol, almost a month, because now Rat was right after, right after all the prayers finished from my mom, here comes no Rat. I wanna say happy no Rat belatedly to my Hindu brothers and sisters. Um, for my Muslim brothers and sisters, Ramadan Mubarak to you guys. I know you guys are um, observing the Ramadan fast right now. Please forgive me because I'm showing food, <laughs> a lot of it. And um, hey, we just celebrated Easter as well, you know, Pagwa. We couldn't celebrate nothing because as a Hindu, when somebody dies, from you, dies for you, you cannot celebrate. So after all of that is done, here we are. We're breaking fast actually with some nice, some messenger and the kids gonna have some nice fried chicken. And I got my shrimp, all right? So this is what we're about to do and of course you know i got my beer here i'm gonna um you know let's just please open my beer for me now and open. one for you and one for me and shake them down and pick <laughs> them up you know the, you know the rhyme right dirty, two sweet. little green beer on the table one for you and one for me green you can't pick it <laughs> okay so the season we'll be using it tonight, I got four um, chicken cubes and we got some shallots some garlic and some fine thyme and onion and thing we blend up, all right? With some salt, hey, and we're gonna be cooking just now, you know, I'm gonna show you all the finished product, all right? Now, please note this channel here, right? How can life get better than this? What I do basically with this channel I bring you guys a preview of what what is to come on the main channel. It's Our Life ARD. And sometimes I also, like tonight, I'm not making a video for ARD. But I'm just showing you how we live, what we do. And just keep you guys abreast. We're still in Florida. We're not back home in Guyana as yet. So, you know, I don't have Guyana videos to give you guys. So, I'm just giving you a little, you know update of what we're doing and how we're spending our time right now you know i just lost my mom you know hey my life has to go on all right those of you who still have your mother and father please cherish them for you don't know when you can lose them all right even your your children your spouse your brother your sister cherish the people around you enjoy their company no one knows what tomorrow has to offer or how long we are here for all right so celebrate Celebrate life itself. So we're gonna clean up here and thing and just so we can start cooking. I'm gonna lash my beer, alright? I hope y'all don't drool. Alright guys, so Miss Lynch I already cleaned up the shrimp. So now this is what you do. You see the shrimp here? There is a line at the back of the shrimp. See if you Cut it open and you take out the, the guts or the whatever the intestine, whatever you want, cut it, man. But there's a black line, you gotta take it out, right? And we add in some salt and 
See that puree there with the, with the green seasoning? I just made this, all right? So I'm just going to um, marinate that thing that good and proper. I should put it in the egg into it, all right? Into the shrimp. So you put one egg into it. And then you're going to mix up all of them goodness while you got the oil heat in there. Bye. Well. Yeah, you could do the egg in there. That, that's why I brought the white bowl for you. I thought you was gonna put it in there and then yeah, you can batter it. So you can put the egg sep separate and you can just batter it into the eggs yeah. and then into the frying pan. Right? You do it like that. You get like a thickly of flour. Flour, okay. Or, or bread crumbs, whatever you use. Okay. To me, this one you just put everything right here, flour, and that's it. That's a fast way of cooking my all in one. That's yeah. Guyanese style. And please mix up the chicken. Can you want to get my hands dirty in case I got to touch your face gently yeah. later on? Oh Alright, so the oil getting hot or just look at the oil. I didn't fry this first. No problem, darling. Knock yourself out. Hey, the goodness continue. How? How can life get better than this? That is why I named this channel, How Can Life Get Better? You can look at the goodness there, boy. Guyana prawns out of the Atlantic into this car heat. Life couldn't get better. Into the belly. Into the belly. <laughs> so fasting just finished and we breaking fast here tonight. Alright. So we're gonna put in a set of fry, we're gonna fry them all out. We're gonna lash with two Peroni beer, a Peruvian beer. I think this is, no, it's a it, Italiana. So it's a beer from Italy, I guess. I'm not sure. But anyway, my beer finished. I'll get next beer. In the meantime, it's finished cooking there. Let's show you where I got my stash. See what's going on I got my stash in the freezer, you know. <laughs> I got some lobster tea to cook. I still got a boss at the bottom there. That we cut in the back down and some hassle and thing there, you know, to cook later. The goodness continue. You yeah, could smell, yeah. I could, you could smell the goodness. I hope my neighbors them don't wake up and come by the fence, you know. I just live good with my neighbors them all over, you know. <laughs> Once my neighbors smell, I'm a guy and his neighbor. If they only smell, and I will tell you all the secret. You know why we wait until eleven o'clock? Now it's eleven o'clock, you know, eleven p.m. Why you wait until 11 p.m. to cook? I don't want my guy and his neighbor get a smell. Oh my god. I don't want to torment them, you know. <laughs> you understand? But anyway, I'm going to save a couple of these prawns to my neighbor. <laughs> All right? Because, you know, they haven't been in Guyana for a long time, so they ain't a Guyana shrimp and Guyana fish. But the goodness continue. You want to talk about Let's see back me if I, if I want to turn over. And you know shrimp, you can't fry it too long, right? Because you don't want to make it get too chewy. It's almost done here, Alan. You gotta check it out. So, hey, it's done. You see that you've done it golden brown already. Right? Get, get it pan, Alan. It's finished. Give me a pan, man. It's hot. It's in the city house. This is good. Goodness. Mmm. It's hot, but that won't stop me from eating it. <laughs> Couldn't get fresher than this. Trust me. Boy, look at that. <laughs> it hot. <laughs> Thank you.
You have my beer. Okay. Miss Finch, in drinking. I alone drinking. Uh, Cheers. How can life get any better than this? Cheers. Next, we're gonna prep this chicken. If there's an idle sit in, we're gonna lash with a little shrimp. Woo! This is perfect, darling. We're gonna chit chat a little. All right. Celebrate life. And then we got to be better. Tomorrow is another day. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video with us sharing our life, how we live our life. Thank you for being on my channel. Thank you for being my support. And, you know, I want to thank all you guys from near and far who sent me messages, you know, kind messages during my time of grief. It really meant a lot to me. I want to say thank you on behalf of my family. Thank you very much. It meant a lot. Your support. Your kind words, your condolences, we really appreciate them. Thank you so much. And because of you, I am still standing strong. I want to thank you all for that. So, hey, thank you for being my friend, part of my life, part of the ARD life. God bless you. Stay safe. Let me eat some peace. Shrimp. Take care of you and those around you. God bless you. See you sometime soon. Oh yeah, I just got a little alley hard work. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many cold is it, so. <laughs> when you have a lot to do. You cook. Alright. <laughs> so, until we meet again. Take care of you guys. Good night. You want to say something before you go, message? Not really. You said more. Uh, oh, I want, I, I want, I want the fans. Uh, you know, some of my fans are asking me when will message be posting videos. Message, can you answer that question? When everything goes back to normal. When would that be? Soon. <laughs> Another <laughs> month. When they see it, my post. Well, yeah. Okay. No, I'll be posting regularly. Hopefully, another month, right? Mm. Okay guys, take care. We, we should be back in Guyana by mid-May, alright? So from then you're gonna get Guyanese video. But for now, this is all we have for you from Florida, from Ocala. Take care. See you on the next adventure.